everybody. Today we are going to walk you through a basic vestibular evaluation. Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Michael Squires. And I'm Dr. Carly Squires. And this is Dr. Squires Squared. This is a channel where we have candid and casual conversations about anything and everything audiology. And if you have no clue what we're talking about, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Stick with us. We're going to walk you through everything we know. All right, so in today's episode, we are going to give you a walkthrough about what it looks like or what in, is entailed in a vestibular evaluation or a basic VNG. Um, and we're going to go through what all that means, what all the tests are, but um, I'm actually going through the testing. So it's going to be showing our current fourth year resident, Rachel, putting, Rachel, putting me through the um, just this basic battery of testing. Yep. So as Rachel goes through this testing, um, I'll probably skip through it because a VNG takes um, a good long while and nobody, uh, none of you want to sit here and watch 40 minutes worth of um, a VNG, but I'll walk you through kind of in a, a voiceover way over top of some of that testing. Um, but really, we, you know, we had talked in a previous episode about why we would be doing the vestibular mm -hmm. testing. So right. today we'll talk about what that testing looks like, what it is. The next episode or two, we'll talk about what we're actually looking for yep. um, throughout all of these tests and then what we're going to do with that. So without further ado, we'll jump right in and take a look at that VNG. All right, here we are in our vestibular suite. Um, Rachel, who is our resident this year, is going to be helping us through this video. And she's just getting Carly set up um, and fitted with the goggles, the Frenzel goggles that we use in order to take a closer look at the eyes. Everything we do is um, through video. That's why it's called video nystagmography. And what we focus on is the pupils of the eyes. So you'll be able to watch Rachel um, center up the eyes here in just a second. It should be right about there. <laughs> good timing. Um, so now we can get a really good look at Carly's eyes. Now this system isn't quite as sensitive as some, but um, we like to turn the lights out. In many cases we like to have the patient remove any eye makeup that they might be wearing as well because it just gives us a better look. But Carly's got nice big beautiful eyes there so we can see her pupils really really well. So then what we'll do is move on to the first step which is calibration. So here you can see a little tiny white uh, dot in the middle of the screen and it will move uh, both horizontally and vertically. The VNG system, the balance system, is actually calibrating her eye movements. So this helps to calibrate all of the other tests that we're going to do. Then we move on to our ocular motor test battery. Now ocular motor um, is more than just one test. This is optokinetics. We're actually just finding out how the eyes respond to visual stimulus, uh, how the vestibular system works with the eyes to make all of that happen. So there's several tests in that battery that, that we use. Um, what Rachel's doing now is just getting ready to reposition that chair and then we'll go on to the next part, which is positionals. So this is the first part of positionals. It's called Diggs Hall Pike. We're monitoring for benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. So we'll turn our head to one side and lay down. Normally a little bit more quicker, more quickly than that. We'll come back up. Now we'll, we would repeat this on the other side. Try to cut as much of the unnecessary repetitive stuff as I can. But this is basically Carly. Um, laying down following the second part of the Dix Hall Pike. This is the second part of the positional testing. We'll have the patient turn their head to the right, basically flexing their neck, putting their uh, ear, the right ear in this case, down towards the ground. There are some visual stimulation, uh, visual stimulus that will pop up uh, occasionally and we'll just have you uh, focus on that as you can. And we'll switch over to the opposite side. Now we do this in several different positions and we're just giving you a sneak peek on the ones that we're using here. Now in this uh, portion Rachel's got Carly. Uh, she's sitting back up. We're just putting some safety straps on. Um, just part of our safety protocol here. This is nothing that she would need to like Carly's not a crash dummy in this uh, situation. This chair does not spin very fast, but what we're doing here is preparing for rotational chair testing or rotary chair testing. Um, for every head movement in one direction, there's going to be an eye movement in the opposite direction. It's called the visual ocular reflex or the vestibular ocular, ocular reflex, excuse me. Um, and so basically we're monitoring how 
the brain is telling the eyes to respond to certain movements when there's no visual stimulus. So you can see here, Carly's eyes are completely blocked off. She's in the dark. We are monitoring her eye movements. Um, it gets to the point where we can assess the horizontal canals of the vestibular system to find out really if the vestibular system is the root of the issue. So this is a really, really handy um, test that we do here. This is um, gold standard as far as vestibular testing is concerned. There's several different tests that we use for a rotational chair, but this is just a little glimpse into how we've got this set up. The last test we'll do is called calorics, caloric irrigations, that we use air or water to kind of artificially tell the brain that you are turning around in a circle even when you're not. This gives us a really good look at how the right compares to the left and if there are any weaknesses that we need to look into. All right, we hope you enjoyed our episode today, walking you through what a basic vestibular evaluation looks like, or at least a portion of that test. We're going to continue this series um, walking through various tests that we perform in our office, dissecting those apart, showing you what is um, entailed in that test, why we do it, the results. So stay tuned for that. Yep, and if you like what you saw here today, make sure to drop us a comment. Um, you can also give us a call here at the office. It's 304-428-2403, or heck, shoot us an email at info at herewv.com. Uh, until next time, make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you then. Thank you.